the ERP means it's it's nothing but it's enterprise resources planning, and it will integrate the functional it it will integrate the functionalities within the organization. Like within the organization, you have different types of functionalities: HRMS, finance, CRM. Different types of functions are there in your organization. It will. <coughs> integrate all the systems within your organization it will make your system data should be data flow should be automated then coming to the ERP market you will see different types of ERPs in your software world like PeopleSoft is an ERP and SAP Oracle applications and Dynamics, SAP, sorry, Siebel, all these are the ERPs. Then, what is the speciality of PeopleSoft? What is the history of PeopleSoft among us? In 1987, PeopleSoft was founded by so <coughs> these founders, David and uh, Walnut. And the first version of the HRMS was released in 1988. And all these will explain about the PeopleSoft journey okay. from 87 to 2013. Mm -hmm. In 2005, Oracle acquired PeopleSoft. After that, everybody thought, okay, Oracle will banish this technology and they won't support this technology anymore but it's not like that after that acquisition Oracle releasing the versions after that acquisition also they released 9.0, 9.1 and 9.2 they're about to launch 9.3 and they have a plan up to 2019 2019 they have a plan to release a new version in people's world. Okay. And coming to the people's soft, not only in people's soft, coming to the ERP, any ERP, you have two types of job roles majorly in our workplace. Functional consultant role and technical consultant. And some other part will be the DBS. We are not the right persons to handle that. Okay. But functional consultant and technical consultant. Functional consultant is nothing but he is a business analyst. He will sit with the business, he will gather the requirements, and he will prepare the functional docs based upon the requirements. And once he completed the task in preparing the functional designs, the technical team will come into the picture and then starts their development by doing impact analysis and doing the development level. Then <coughs> even in your job even in your job site also you have two types of responsibilities, functional and technical. Depends upon your resume, depends upon your expertise. You will focus on these topics. Like you completed your masters in HRMs, like MBA HRMs. Then most of those people will prefer to learn functionality in people's of HRMs. If you completed in your uh, education in the finance side, then you will prefer to learn the functionality of finance. Why I'm saying like that? Why? Because they know in and out of the core level functionality in the functional modules. That's why they will prefer to learn the technique. These are all the functional modules supported by PeopleSoft. HCM, Human Capital Management, it's nothing but them. HRMS. 
financial and supply chain management, all account related activities, enterprise learning management, customer relationship management, enterprise performance management, campus solutions and portal solutions. At present, PeopleSoft, Oracle PeopleSoft is focusing on these two main modules. They are releasing latest versions of these modules. They are extending their support for these modules. If you choose your path, okay, I will learn only functionality. I don't want to learn the technical side. I will prefer the functional. Then you were, you have some limitations in that scenario. What type of limitations? If you learn people's of HRMS functional, then you are eligible to work only in HRMS. You are not eligible to work in finance. Why? Because you don't know anything in the finance. Hmm. Without knowing anything, how do you perform a business analyst role in the side of business? If you learn the technical, if you learn the technical, you can work in any of these modules. Any of these modules. Without any issues, you can work in any of these modules. Mm -hmm. Why? Why you have that much of facilities in the side of technical? Why? Because to develop the HRMS, to develop the finance, to develop the CRM, the back end technical tools are very common. They are using common tools to develop all these modules. Okay. There is a reason if you land the people of technical you can work in HRMS side or finance side. Okay, let us think. From last three to four years, you are working in people's of HRMS, but you are working in benefits module. Your client is implementing benefits module and core HR, you are working in this area. Your project completed and you are now out of the project and you have a job opening with PeopleSoft Finance Technical. You are eligible to work. Then, what is the difference of work? If you know the functionality, then you can perform that particular work within a specified amount of time. If you are not aware of the functionality, it may take some extra time to complete the task. That is the main difference. That's it. Okay. Once you are familiar with that functionality, you can easily perform the tasks. That is the main difference. Mm -hmm. Then coming to the technical side of PeopleSoft, even in our job market you will have, I think, already you know about these things, SAP, ABAP. Somebody is saying SAP, ABAP. Yeah. Exactly, right? Yes. Okay. SAP, ABAP. I think some of your friends are working, otherwise you know something. You heard yeah. something. Yeah. That is, yeah. exactly. SAP, ABAP means SAP technical side. People of technical side, we can call it as people tools and here five main topics listed here only five topics are there in the people tools technical no it's not like that we have too many topics in people's of technical but whatever the topics listed in this slide you will get a chance to work in your real time. You will get a work mainly on these five topics. That means 80% of the real time development 
can be done by using these five tools. That's why in our training, we will try to concentrate more on these five tools. We can say these five tools are core development tools in PeopleSoft Technique. Okay. Then coming to the discussion, first we will start with the application designer which will help us to design the pages, everything in PeopleSoft. To complete this session, minimum we will need five to seven working sessions. Mm -hmm. After that, I will provide you one real-time assignment on application design. Okay. You can go ahead and do it. After that, we will start with the people code. Okay. Once we completed the designer, we will jump onto the people code. Again, it will take minimum five to seven working sessions to complete the theoretical and practical explanation about the people code. Okay. After that, we will jump onto the application engine. Within the application engine discussion, we will cover the component interface also. Mm -hmm. To complete these two topics, minimum five to seven working sessions are needed. At the end, we will discuss about SQR. Okay, so for both, the, uh, so for both application engine and component interface, it will take both uh, like seven days, right? Five to seven days. Exactly, maximum five to seven days. Okay. I'm coming to the SQR part. Structure query reporting. Mm -hmm. It's a main reporting tool in our people's of HRMS. Okay. To complete this task also we need minimum five to seven or minimum five working sessions. Okay. That means the entire course will be completed in between twenty five to thirty working sessions daily okay. one hour. Mm -hmm. And once we completed all these five topics, whenever we are discussing these five topics also, I will try to teach you the basic functionality of HRMS. <laughs> Why? Because whenever you are placing your resume, they will mm -hmm. expect something about your functional side also. Okay. You need <clears throat> some functional support to complete your job interviews. Yes. Then, mm -hmm. coming to the prerequisites to land people's soft. Mm -hmm. Already you worked in Oracle, SQL and PLSQ knowledge you had. Yes. That is enough. Why? Because people soft is majorly depends on the database. Okay. That means you know you need some knowledge in the set of SQL like writing the queries, sub queries, joins, everything. Okay. I think you know about all these things. Yeah. Then that is enough for you. Coming to everybody will think to land the people code, is there any prerequisite? No, nothing. No prerequisite needed. If you are having any basic programming knowledge like C, PLS, that is enough. Okay. Even if you don't know all these things, you can learn the people code. Why? Because people code is a proprietary language developed by people. Mm -hmm. Then, coming to the material part. Today, I am teaching you by using this PPT. Mm -hmm. After the session, I will send you the PPT. Okay. That means whatever the PPTs I am using to teach you, I will share the PPTs with you at the end of the session. Okay. And I will give you the online repository of the PeopleSoft also. We can okay. say it is people books. Mm -hmm. And coming to the versions I have Presently, I'm having. Presently, I'm having people tools 
8.50 and Oracle PeopleSoft version 9.1. Mm -hmm. This is the basic discussion about the PeopleSoft from my end. Do you have any doubts from your end? Um, no, can you please suggest me your means? Because I'm new to this complete people's of because I'm I want to become like a techno functional consultant. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to learn like the uh, technical plus some part of uh, uh, functionality. So so which one you suggest for me like HRMS or supply chain management? Which one you suggest? Better to prepare your resume, let me say, at the end of the course, mm -hmm. better to prepare your resume like techno, techno functional consultant itself. Okay. 70% plus 30%. Okay, got you. So 70% technical and 30%. If they are asking too much mm -hmm. on the functional side, you can support from your side like this. Okay, I am a pure technical consultant, but I can support something on the functional, but not in depth. Okay. Yeah, why because to. why because even for me also I don't know the in-depth functionality in some of the modules why because I'm not the core functional guy okay understood my point yeah thank you and apart from these five tools number of tools are there even you don't get a chance to work on those tools even you have six to seven years of experience in people mm-hmm why because in .NET and Java we have only one tool but here we have too many tools mm -hmm. other than five to other than these five tools five to seven tools are there mm -hmm. at the end of the course you will get a chance to understand what we are discussing okay. Okay. then coming to the regular planning sessions Mm -hmm. As of now, I haven't discussed with them and they have not discussed with me also okay. about the regular sessions, when we will start and when we will, what is the regular time of view. Okay. I will discuss with them and, mm -hmm. and uh, please share your um, available timings also okay. with them, with Karthik and other guys. Mm -hmm. And I will also share my available timings with them. Okay. Depends on that, they will choose one common timing and they will allocate one training session from the next week. Okay. Well, because so, tomorrow is the holiday there, right? Yes, yeah, it's holiday. You are in Boston or? No, I'm in mean Stanford. Okay. Might be <laughs> anywhere, there is a holiday tomorrow, right? Yeah, it's holiday, yeah. Okay. And Friday, I think better to start from Monday. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's fine. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Better mm -hmm. to share the timings and I'm giving you one more suggestion. Mm -hmm. Before starting the session on 30th, first mm -hmm. session, okay. better to complete all installation related activities on your machine by this weekend. Sure, sure. I'll take Why? Because once we started the practice, mm -hmm. You need a good amount of practice and parallel with me also. Okay. Whatever I am teaching you, I will share the recording with you. It's not a problem for me. Okay. While looking at the recording, you have to practice it. Yeah. Why? Because you we started the sessions on 30th. Mm -hmm. You haven't ready your machine. Then you your machine is ready on second or third. Then mm -hmm. what about these four classes? Yeah, I love those sessions. Very crucial. The practice part is very crucial in people's, not only in people's, but in ERP. Why? Because ERP itself is a complex. Mm -hmm. Very initial stages. First five to seven working sessions are very crucial. Okay. Why? Because once you understood, once you are familiar with the first five to seven working sessions, then all other things will be a cake walk for you, I am sure about it. Okay. Okay? Yes, Any other doubts for you have from your side? Uh, no, it's fine, just now. Okay, once we started the 
first session, then only you can get the doubts. Yeah, true. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Better to try to uh, better to uh, complete all installation related activities by this weekend. Sure. And share your available timings with them. Mm -hmm. You are in Eastern time zone, right? Yeah, I'm in Eastern. Okay. Um, that means your uh, 6.30 to 7.30, that means in your time, 8 to 9, 8, 8 p.m. Yeah, yeah, that time for me. Presently, you are attending yeah. now. Yes, yes. It is not a problem for you, right? No, it's time for me. Okay. Better, uh, maximum, I will try to um, allocate my time also, mm -hmm. a, uh, 8 to 9 p.m. in your time. Okay. Um, that's all from my side. Okay. You can contact them to mm -hmm. install the things on your machine sure, as early sure. as possible. Sure. Thank you. I'll take it in within two days, sir. Come again. We will complete the installation process. All uh, all the things we will complete in two days. That is really was what I am suggesting to yeah. Satvik also. Better to complete all installation activities by this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sir. Okay. Okay. I will start the regular sessions from Monday. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Satvik. Yeah. yeah thanks, Monday. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Have a nice holidays. Bye. Oh, thank you. Yes. Bye. Thank you.